Do you want to become a data scientist and you don't know where to start? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a data science roadmap. I'm going to be telling you exactly what you need to know and what to act on if you're just in the beginning of your data science journey. And don't worry if you don't have any coding experience, I'm going to make sure to give you a step-by-step -step guide on what are the do's and don'ts as a beginner in data science. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it because there's lots to talk about. Step one, learn SQL. As a data scientist, you're going to be required to gather your data. Without any data, you're not going to be able to become a data scientist. So in order to gather that data, you're going to need to use SQL to query it from your database. SQL stands for Structure Query Language. Its syntax is super easy to understand. It's very, very close to spoken language. So that is going to be a perfect first step for you on the data science journey. Now you're going to need to learn SQL pretty well because later on in your data science journey, you're going to have some very interesting and difficult problems to solve. And usually in databases, you're not going to have everything in one table. So you're going to need to familiarize yourself with select statements, joins, inner joins, left joins, right joins, uh, CTEs, and temporary tables. Step two, dive into Python. And now don't just off the bat go and learn about machine learning algorithms because they're going to get a little bit overwhelming as a beginner. What I suggest you do instead is learn about the object-oriented programming features of Python. And what I mean by this are lists, tuples, dictionaries, while loops, for loops, objects. You get the point, right? Now, after you're done with this, what you're going to need to do is practice a little bit. Try to get a logical problem and split it into smaller pieces. And that's going to help you practice all these concepts that you've learned in the previous steps. Now, after you're done and you understand a little bit more of how Python works or how an object-oriented programming language works, you're going to want to learn a little bit about uh, the dedicated libraries that Python has for machine learning. And I suggest you start off with Pandas, NumPy, sklearn, xgboost. There's plenty of libraries out there that are just going to help you on your data science journey. And I do believe that as a beginner, Pandas is going to be one of the most useful ones because uh, it's going to help you read data. It's going to help you put data into a format that is going to be easy to analyze, which is a matrix inside of your IDE. But we're going to get into that a little bit later if you want. Now, before diving into machine learning algorithms, I would suggest you brush up on statistics and linear algebra because this is the base of a machine learning algorithm and you're going to be using these concepts also later on when you're going to be trying to optimize your algorithms. Step three, Tableau or Power BI. Now I know there's a whole conversation behind all of this. Which tool is the best? Is it Tableau? Is it Power BI? Well, actually, we're not here to discuss this topic on this right video, but I'm going to tell you what I use. I personally use Tableau because I can connect my database to it through a custom SQL query. I can create calculation fields, which are going to be super important on the EBA process. And um, also, I can create stories. I can create dashboards that I can present my non-technical audiences um, with, right? So what you're going to need to do here, you're going to need to familiarize yourself with a data visualization tool, whether it's Tableau or Power BI. Um, make sure you make your dashboards as clean and as clear as possible. For people that are not really familiar with technical terms, I do suggest make it as clean as possible, as easy to understand as possible, and try to create a story out of your exploratory data analysis phase or uh, even after your findings. So we're going to use Tableau in two different ways. We're going to have it on the exploratory data analysis side if you cannot do it in Python straight up, and also by the end when you have your findings. Step four, you finally made it to the last stage of our apprenticeship. You made it, my young Padawan. Now what you're going to need to know right now 
is gather all that information, gather all the data that we talked about in this video. And what you're going to do is dive into machine learning algorithms. And the ones that I suggest you start with are naive Bayes, k-means, and random forests, and support vector machines. Those are the easiest ones to understand in the beginning. So don't give up on it. I know it's going to be a long journey before you get into machine learning algorithms, but I believe in you. Now you have to remember, it will not always be easy. There's gonna be moments when you're gonna to want to give up, but stick with it because I tell you in the end, it's gonna to be totally worth it. Practice, 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 and I will see you in the next video. Also, pro tip, make sure you go on Kaggle after you're done with all of your exercises. They have some pretty uh, cool data sets to work with and also some uh, beginner challenges that are going to help you develop your data science knowledge. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and drop me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for today and I will see you in the next one.